The US economy nears full employment, and the US central bank copes with a surge of inflation. The Federal Reserve has said it would end its pandemic-era bond purchases. The end of purchases in March will pave the way for three quarter percentage point interest rate hikes by the end of 2022. The pace of inflation is uncomfortably high in the United States, and in their new economic projections, policymakers forecast that inflation could run to 2.6% next year, an increase over the 2.2% they projected back in September. But then it's hoped it will fall to 2.3% in 2023 and 2.1% in 2024. The Federal Open Market Committee kept interest rates near zero and updated its assessment of the progress of the, that the economy has made toward the criteria specified in the committee's forward guidance for interest rates. In addition, in light of the strengthening labor market and elevated inflation pressures, we decided to speed up the reductions in our asset purchases. We are committed to our price stability goal. We will use our tools both to support the economy and a strong labor market and to prevent higher inflation from becoming entrenched. We will be watching carefully to see whether the economy is evolving in line with expectations. The rise in COVID cases in recent weeks, along with the emergence of the Omicron variant, pose risk to the out risks to the outlook. Unemployment is seen dropping to 3.5% next year, well below the point Fed officials feel is sustainable in the long run and remaining through 2024. Well, we on correspondent Susan Tarani sent us this report from New York. Listen in. While the Federal Reserve provided multiple indications on Wednesday that it was willing to make some aggressive moves to tackle the rising inflation here in the United States, for example, accelerating the reduction of its monthly bond purchases, and then after that, a set of interest rate hikes starting in 2022, it's yet to be seen whether or not these measures may be too little too late. Some economists and perhaps consumers wanted to see an even more hawkish approach coming from the Fed. For example, an immediate end to money creation and also immediate interest rate hikes. Now, these measures by the Fed come at a time when the United States is witnessing in inflation it has not seen in almost 40 years and for a while fed officials had maintained that the inflation is transitory however white house officials recently said that may not be the case susan tehrani reporting from new york for we on world is one 